from the hallowed grounds of Fenway Park, AAA Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Syracuse Mets taking on the Worcester Red Sox. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Well, Singy, when you consider the top hitters ballparks in the sport, this has got to be one of them. I'll say this. Pitchers have to stay with their game. They can't look over their shoulder and think, I have to be fine and perfect on every pitch. Continue to pitch to your strengths, and you'll come out of here with a good outing. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. First pitch moments away, and towing the slab here, Brian Bayo. Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. Ready to go, and stepping in is the speedy Tim Locastro. Next pitch is popped up. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Okay, let's check out the lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. No score, just getting started, top of the first. In the dirt. Wong on to first. Quick start to this afternoon's action, two gone. The designated hitter. Here's Luis Guillorme. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. That misses. Three and one. The wind and the pitch. Hard hit, right side. Dahl back to first. Third out. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Back now at Fenway. Showing the slab in today's game. Steven Ridings. Lots of punch outs. A real strikeout artist singing. He's a guy that's going to come right after hitters. I mean, he's not trying to fool them. He's going to pitch the contacts, not worry about it. He trusts his defense behind him. And he's not going to mess around with a whole bunch of different offerings. Only three pitches in the repertoire. So he knows we'll have to work in all three effectively and probably pitch backwards sometimes just to make sure this lineup isn't picking up on too many patterns. And that's a strike. Got him swinging. And one out now. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right that there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to whereas you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Kicks and deals. Sets him down on strikes. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Got him! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound.
back here in Boston. Now the third baseman, Brett Beatty. Brett Beatty. Left hand hitter waits. That's down and in. Righty delivers to the right side. Story picks it up, gets it to first. Out. One out in the second. That is it. The first base, Daniel, Daniel Vogelback. Daniel Vogelback at the plate. No score here in the second. There's a strike. Bail. He's become known as a guy that's really tough to take deep, and that is especially valuable today, Chris, when the ball's going out of the ballpark so much. And a ball and two strikes. And that's down and away. It's very important. It's all about run prevention, right? So uh, when you have that, it's a plus. But if you are going to give up the long ball, you want the bases to be empty, and that's where control and command really comes into play for a guy like this. The wind of the pitch. Hard hit left side. Whips it across. Oh. Two up, two down at the top of the second. That is it. The left field, number seven, seven. Masataka, Masataka Yoshida. Yeah, the batter now, Masataka Yoshida. He was hitless in four at bats yesterday. Two down, nobody on. This to third. Jump throw. And that'll do it. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back here at Fenway Park, go. bottom of the Hold second. Now it's the second baseman, the second Trevor baseman. Story. Trevor Story. We always talk about connections, kids growing up with one another. Trevor Story grew up playing in Texas on the same travel ball team as Josh Bell. Now one out to right. Almonte makes the grab, one down. Batting good. Good. The first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. The pitch. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no the messing around here. right now. It's still very early. But we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high... Well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at Fenway Park, on to the third the inning. And the batter the will be the shortstop, Danny Mendick. Mendick. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do oh. get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the you clock's going to start One ticking strike. on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. That misses the zone. Three balls and a strike. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. And a base hit up the middle.
Tomas Nito Tomas at the plate. Nito. And he deals. That one oh. misses. Two and one. Two one. And the right hander deals. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Got him! And one away in the top of the third. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They've clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Now it's going to be Luke Ritter. This one in the air center field. Durant snags it on the run. A little drop and drive on that swing. Backside collapsing just a little bit. Trying to put the ball in the air. Top of the third, no score. Swings and misses. That is strike two. On the ground, right That's side, ball. and foul ball. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for a strike three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Back here in Boston, we and now you change. Looks sure like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. And the pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Smoked on the ground a second. Sends it to Vogel back. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Batting it. The center fielder. Now batting Jaron Duran. Got it by him for the K. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch that himself. That slider had hit him. me written all oh. over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. And that is the third out of the inning. Nine straight retired here to start the game. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back in Boston, John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set right to lead off the fourth, Abraham, Abraham Almonte. Almonte. And that one is lifted in the air. Verdugo gets under it, and there's one away. Now that designated hitter. And next is the designated hitter, Luis Guillorme. Grounded out his first time. That one fouled off.
Next offering <laughs> is in the dirt. Got him swinging. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even now that count right. up at two Third balls and two strikes, but right, that right. time chased Easy. outside the zone. Brett Beatty getting ready to hit. Grounded out his first time up. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. to kick the pitch fouls it off still one and two the pitch that's foul off to the right side keeps the AB going also really good at bat what I like about this guy his bat stays in the zone for a long time gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches check swing and that's a ball Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Next offering is down low, and the count's full. And a pitch. And that's ripped into left, base hit. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second, and that's a double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Daniel Vogel back. 0 for 1 so far. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. The one-two. Rip towards third. Can't glove it cleanly. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. The left field. So two aboard and two out. Scoreless Masataka. game. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida, grounded out his first time. Next pitch is outside. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And the righty deals. And no, this is inside. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. The 3-1. Three, 3-1, one. Three, one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So two down, and now the shortstop, Danny Mendick. And he's already singled in this game. Two outs. Bases are full. And a swing and a miss. The one-two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the DH, Rymel Tapia. The designated hitter. Rymel. 
Sabria. They say you win. You know, this group of hitters just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Vogel back. Under it. Next pitch misses, and the count's even at two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Right into the play. And now it's filled up. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And now it's switch hitting third baseman, number 92. Pitch misses, the count now two and two. Good eye in that spot. At the belt and fires. And oh, ball four to a board. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Here's Alex Verdugo. His first at bat was a strikeout. The pitch. There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And here it comes. Stays alive. The Red Sox hitless so far in the game. Next pitch, not close, up high. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Left-hand batter waits. And down on strikes he goes. Now one away. Now back, second base. Two on, one out. Here's Trevor Story now. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Ground ball could be two. The throw to second is offline. Well, every double play turn starts with getting one, and even though these guys work on these plays during batting practice over and over again, sometimes at game speed, you can still mess it up. Could have been two outs. Instead, they get nothing. So bases loaded with one away. Next is the speedy first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. He's 0 for 1. That one way outside, and that's ball two. pitch late on that Ooh, fastball double barreled action in the bullpen Genji Reyes is loosening up this would be his first appearance for the club Hernandez getting loose as well and the pitch that one misses counts full three and two laboring here about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning Fouled off again, and it remains three and two.
fights it off. He'll see another. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Well, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You had the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground, and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. Now it's the right fielder, Devlin Granberg. First time up was a pop-out. The 1-1. And that one upstairs. Tapia, the runner at third. Story on at first with two down. Strike two. swing and a miss that's the third out a lot of adrenaline we can see it right there and sometimes you just got to let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning back here at Fenway here's the catcher Tomas Nito Kicks and fires. Falling oh, behind 2-1-1. Oh. Well, these guys do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb. So they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Line drive. Story sends it over Out. to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. So digging in, Luke Ritter. Next offering is in for a strike. Rips one to right. Snags it for the second out. Now that the center field, Tim. Tim. Back to the top of the lineup. Now batting Tim Locastro. Pitch misses there. Now three and one. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Next to hit, Abraham Almonte. And a 1-1. That no. one missed. Two outs. To the right side. Story handles. After they that. take the force out. That's out number three. No runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. Last half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. Back We're now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking now, over on the mound, Denji Reyes. Number seven. At this point of the ball game, we're talking Denji. about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Now it's the shortstop, Yu Chang. Rolled out to second in his That's first at bat. Here comes a pitch. 
Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Grabs it on the run. One away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. So up next, Jaron Duran struck out swinging his first time. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And that one fouled off. It weakly on the ground towards second. Whips it to first on the run. Oh man for the fifth inning moving along. The two quick outs. The no, they didn't recognize change it earlier enough. Got out in front a little Whoa. bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. Here's the speedy catcher, Connor Wong. 0 for 1. He flat out to right this first trip. The Red Sox yet to pick up a hit here. And one and two. One ball. Two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Back here at Fenway. All set for the start of the inning. And now the DH, Luis Guillorme. Started to swing. Held up. 3-1. On the ground to third. Over to Dahlbeck. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Brett Beatty. One for two. Ball to strike. The pitch. Just oh, missed. Ball. And it's even up. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Chases that one out of the zone. Two down. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And now the first baseman, Daniel Vogelback. Rolled over to third. Can't field it cleanly. That leaves him without a throw, and they can't get the out. The left fielder, number seven, Masataka Yoshida. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Brian Bayo out of the game. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Cutter Crawford. So digging in, Masataka Yoshida. The pitch. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. Welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Stepping in, Rymel Tapia. One one now. Off the bat, it looked like this was going to be a nice hit down the line. Maybe extra bases, but it kept slicing and slicing and landed just foul.
Right-hander kicks, deals. That one drifts inside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Drew Smith appears to be getting loose. Buto getting cranked up as well. 2-2 Two -two now. Caught him looking for the K. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Here's a speed threat, number 92. The 1-1. One -one. Outside. The Red Sox still looking for their first hit in this one. And he hits a ground ball right side. Sends it to Vogel back. And that quickly, two away. The left fielder, number 99. Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo, the next to hit. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Next pitch no. downstairs, and the count two and two one. one strike. And that's in for a strike. Next offering okay. down low and in the dirt. Mendick tosses yeah. the first. And Verdugo is set down. And that'll do it. here in Boston we go to the top of the seventh and now here is Danny Mendick Jack Swing went around one and two and that's in the dirt Action in the pen down there. Number 68 appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Choo-choo down. And a curve misses outside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Check swing and a 3-2. Appeal down to first. And Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. Almost a coin flip for the umpire in that call. But most umpires just don't want to give pitchers a break up in the zone like that. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tomas Nito. The pitch. Double play ball to second. There's one to Dahlbeck. Double play. And here is Luke Ritter. Ooh. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right-handed reliever. 
And that just misses. It's a good take. The wind of the pitch. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Three up, three down for him there. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. And we still have no score. Back now at Fenway, here's Trevor Story. Red Sox, the second baseman. Trevor. And a pitch. Not close with that one. Two and one. That catches the corner. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Two and two. Got him looking for the K. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. And now Bobby Dahlbeck. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Really love the pitch sequence right there. there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. So two down now, and here is Devlin Granberg. Still no hits on the board. One out away from taking the no-no into the eight. Vogel back. Takes it to the bag. Inning over. Nothing across here this half. We look ahead to inning number eight. And we still have no score. Back inside Fenway Park. And here is Tim Locastro. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. The 1-1. One -one. There's a swing and a miss. One ball. Oh, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Got him. And now one away. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Abraham Almonte. Infield shifted to the pull side. Three and two now. And that's, that's ball, ball four. It's not easy laying off that pitch. It's designed to fool you, but he just wasn't fooled at all. At the play, Luis Guillorme. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run, stands at first. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Duran settles underneath it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Brett Beatty. One for three. Righty delivers. That misses. Ball three. Daniel Vogel back in the on deck circle, hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here. And the right hander deals. In the air, left side. Verdugo ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. And we still have no score. Bottom of the eighth. Now here is Yu Chen. And this lineup is still hitless as we begin the eighth. Next pitch is inside. 
And now three and one. Jaron Duran would be next. Big bat with a potentially huge opportunity. And a pitch. Left field. And it's gone! A home run to break up the no-hitter. He blasted that one out of here. And that gives him a lead. It's one zip. like this guy was looking out over the plate but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball so direct to the pitch absolutely blasted out of this ballpark so up next Jaron Duran the pitch that just no. misses and it's two you and are. one oh, he's got to delete it you give up that leadoff home run go back to work focus on this next batter The 2 1. That one ripped right center field. And it one hops the wall. Duran into second, and he's got a double. All over that one right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Man aboard, Connor Wong will hit next. One, two now. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Runner tagging for third. Not in time. He's safe. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open now instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. One away with a runner at third. Next offering is fouled back. And now the oh. count is even. And now the oh, count yeah. filled up three and two. And a line drive, base hit out of the center field. The run scores from third, and they lead by two. Got the job done to put him up by two. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. Now the number two hitter, number 92. Check on the runner. Tapia yep, back did. in on a dive. Tapia, the base runner at first with one out. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. The left the fielder, fielder, number 99. Alex. Alex. Verdugo. Man at first. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Now move to first. And he's back in standing. And the righty deals. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field. Pretty well struck. That's back into the monster seats and gone. An absolute blast to left. And they add a pair. It's 4-0. That one just sounded different. 
and might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run to the slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Jose Buto. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. The 1-1. And it's fouled away. And he deals. Two, two. That one okay. just misses. Out there to center. Locastro settles under it, brings it in. And that's the third out. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back. We go to the ninth. And here's the first baseman, Daniel Vogelback. 3-2. and two. Payoff pitch. Good job to fight that one off. And a pitch. And down on strikes. And now just two outs away. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. A strikeout and a walk. So now one and two. In the dirt. Wong on to first, out. and they're down to their last out. Simply said, this guy's no, flailing at the plate right now. Just Damn. disconnected from Damn. head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strike out of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. And now it's going to be Danny Mendick. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And now two and two. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. This is by no means an offensive outburst. Only four hits the entire game, but good teams find a way to win, and they did. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious Red Sox. Four runs on four hits. No errors. They left three men on base. 
For the visitors, no runs, four hits, one error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 35 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Okay, I got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs>